Hi. In New Window 10, you can now import Dolby Atmos projects under the extension ADM. Under File, Import, ADM. To establish communication and controls with the Dolby Atmos Renderer 3.3, you first need to go to Studio, Studio Setup, and select the Dolby Atmos Bridge Driver, which gets automatically installed during the Dolby Atmos Renderer software installation on your Mac computer. Under VST Audio System, the Dolby Atmos Bridge Driver buffer size can be adjusted in a control panel window. Next, under Studio, Object Mapping, make sure you have the local host IP address entered. You should see 10 channels dedicated to your 9.1 bed and 118 available objects, a total of 128 channels. Then click on Map All to patch your new Windows 10 Dolby Atmos Spanner to the Dolby Atmos Renderer. Next, I place the Dolby Atmos Renderer 3.3 on top of the new Ash Fader display monitor and adjusted the Dolby Atmos Renderer window so I can still see the right window zone for visibility, zone, and history mixer, as well as my control functions at the bottom of the screen. Then under Preferences, Driver, make sure that Core Audio is selected under Audio Driver. The Dolby Atmos Bridge under Audio Input Device, your audio interface under Audio Output Device, in this case Dante Virtual Sound Card. Finally, select an external sync source, in this case I used LTC over audio, as well as an LTC input channel. Sample rate and frame rate should match your new Windows 10 settings. Within your Windows 10, in order to sync your project with the Dolby Atmos renderer, you will need to add a mono audio track and bus it using one available object mono channel. Under Insert, add a SMT generator available under Tools and set it to Link to Transport. Both New Window 10 and Dolby Atmos renderer should be in sync at this point. Dolby Atmos Renderer 3.3 now gives you the option to choose a screen or a person for a sweet spot reference, as well as object numbers. You can now use the fader unit to control 3D panning. Select a channel, and solo the selected channels will only display the selected channel within the Dolby Atmos window. You can then flip the controls and use the fader to pan your selected objects. Freestyle, or you can also use from a list of preset curves available here. Release Solo to display all objects and select another object track to work with. The Dolby Atmos Panner can also be controlled from the master unit touchscreen. Finger panning, freestyle panning, using the encoders as well as preset panning curves are available. You can also access the selected channels meter, volume, and read and write automation. Thanks for watching.